back. Today we're gonna make shrimp alfredo with cheese tortellini. We got our ingredients. We're gonna make a big batch because I got a few people coming over. I have two heavy cream quarts, two boars and cheese, blue cheese, Parmesan cheese, cheese tortellini, fresh shallot, fresh chopped garlic, and the shrimp I have thawing out. All right, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start. We're gonna throw about a tablespoon of olive oil, about three tablespoons of garlic, a little bit more oil. tablespoon of butter, the onions, or the shallots I mean. Seems like a lot of garlic in shallots, but I like a lot of flavor in my alfredo. And you want this done on a low heat. You don't want to burn the garlic or anything. You're just wanting to bring the flavors out. Saute the shallots. Garlic's very touchy. You can burn it really fast. And then it gives off a bitter burnt flavor. You want it to have a nice subtle garlic and shallot taste, not any charred taste. Shallots are nice and sauteed, garlic's nice and sauteed. I'm gonna hit it with some white wine just to deglaze. About a third of a cup, it deglazed a little bit. I like to cook the wine down too, just gives it another flavor. You can use any white wine. All I got today is uh, some Moscato, so that's what we use. Anyway, that's real good. Now we're gonna add the heavy cream, two quarts. Like I said, I have a few people coming over today, so I'm making a pretty decent batch. I'm making this ahead of time, so I'm just gonna make a small batch of the tortellini and shrimp, just to show you a plate you're serving tonight. I'm gonna bust out the big whip. Now this is the time I like to season it. I'm gonna put in a nice amount of black pepper. And a nice amount of salt, not too much because you know Parmesan is kind of salty. Always when you do soups, sauces, you always want to start out with flavor. In the background I made some cornstarch and water into a nice slurry to be able to tighten this up just a little bit before you add the cheeses to it. When you tighten it up, you want it just tighten, tight enough where you dip a spoon in and it coats it. You don't want it any thicker than that because the cheese is going to thicken it up too. Alfredo is a great sauce to use up all your white cheese that's, that's been sitting around for a while. So like your Swiss that's sitting around, mozzarella, whatever you have, blue cheeses, borzins, any white cheese. You can use in this. Now with the heavy cream, if you wanna, the way I make it's a little rich, but you can always half and half it. You can always put half heavy cream, half milk. Now you gotta be careful when you're heating up the cream and milk, you have to watch it. You can't just let it go on the stove because you walk away and it starts to simmer really hard. It'll foam up it and overflow over the, pan. You don't want that. It's starting to simmer good right now. Now we're going to take this slurry and tighten it up just a little bit. You'll see it'll start to turn a little shiny. Now we're going to turn it down. Now we're going to do the spoon test. See how it coats the spoon? Perfect. All right, now we can start adding in cheese. This is blue cheese. Traditionally, it's gorgonzola, but this one my daughter brought home for me. And if you are not into that kind of harsh cheeses, blue cheeses like that, gorgonzola, then you can use softer cheeses. Swiss, Averati, Vorzen. You can throw that tomato basil borzen in here. Gives it a great flavor. You want that to melt the cheese and turn into the sauce. You can see the cheese is making it a little thicker. If you do get it a little too thick, you can add a little bit more milk to it to thin it out. 
That's one six ounce bag of Parmesan. Yeah, there's a lot of cheese going into this. Might melt all that parm, all that blue cheese. You only want to eat this once in a while because it is rich, rich, cheesy, and amazing. You can go into all those fancy restaurants. I've been in a lot of them around here. And when you order their Alfredo, for the amount of money you pay, you're like, wow, there's no flavor. What is going on? To me, I'm all about flavor. I want something so good that when you eat it, you have to sit there and think about it for a little bit. That's what kind of experience I like when I cook. Then I like to see my faces on my patrons who eat my food and enjoy it. I like to have them sit back and go, that was awesome. Looks good. Do a taste test. This is where I'm going to start using up all my older cheeses. Good thing is when you make a big batch, if you have a lot left over, I've even bagged it in Ziplocs and put it in the freezer. That way if I'm busy, I ain't got any time to cook, just pull it out and you're good to go. There you go, the Alfredo sauce is done and it has lots of flavor. All right, let's do the shrimp and the tortellini. I'll set this aside. All right, I put about a tablespoon of olive oil in the bottom. Gonna throw up about a little bit of garlic in there. Maybe a teaspoon. Get that going. But at the same time, we're gonna throw the shrimp that I skewered on toothpicks on there. Now this is just for my plating that I'm gonna do later. I do it on the toothpicks. That way it holds the shape better, the shape that I want it. This little technique. A little bit of butter in there. A shrimp you don't want to overcook. You overcook and then it gets chewy. So you just want it. To get a nice cook a couple minutes on each side there you go now we're gonna take them off we'll do the tortellini then we'll plate just got the tortellini out this is the grocery store stuff already made all you do is put it in a boiling pot of water turn it down cook it for five minutes pull it out and if you're not going to use it right away, toss it in a little bit of olive oil so it won't stick to each other. But I'm going to be using it right away, so let's plate. We get the shrimp all set up. I got the Alfredo in a bowl with tortellini. Now we're just going to push this all, push it all around. We're just going to do a circle around the shrimp. I'm just doing this for eye candy. There you go, that's what we're serving tonight. There you go, we have shrimp with cheese tortellini alfredo. Awesome, time to enjoy. Well, another dish down. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. <laughs> and of course, there goes Buster. Almost finished without him going crazy. And now he's got his bone again. Uh, wouldn't be a day filming without crazy dog going around. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. <laughs> one minute, okay? Give me one minute. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> it's quiet the whole time until I go to finish it.
Buster and I had fun today. I hope you enjoy this recipe. It's very tasty. Family will love it. Friends will love it. Anyway, thank you so much. Have a great day, and we'll see you on the next one. Aloha.